Hello, today I'm going to show you how I make my mango sauce dessert. This dessert is similar to the applesauce, but it's made with mangoes. We are going to use in this dessert, to make this dessert, one medium mango, not too ripe, wash, peeled, slice off the stone and cut up into small pieces, add the pieces to a food processor, add a little bit of water, and then puree the mango pieces until they are fully puree and smooth. Then you're gonna add this puree to a small sauce pot and add one teaspoon lemon juice. This is optional, but I prefer that. Once you've added the lemon juice, you're going to begin the process of cooking the sauce. But you're not going to actually cook it for a very long time. You're going to cook this sauce for about 10 minutes and just kind of bring it to a boil. You don't want it to bubble and boil. And to achieve that, you're going to keep stirring that pot, stirring that pot, never leaving that pot alone, stirring that pot, and you're going to cook on low to medium heat. Low to medium, and I would suggest using the low heat because you don't want this, but you don't want this sauce to really cook. You just want to kind of let it boil and not bubble but keep stirring until you have a certain consistency and you will see from the drip on the spatula that's the consistency that you're going to be looking for that consistency that little drip that drip that is almost thickened is what you're going to look for when you're cooking the sauce and keep stirring you can leave that part and look for that consistency and once you have the consistency that you really need, you're going to take the sauce off the stove, pour it into a mason jar or any jar that you have, and let it cool completely. Once the mango is cooled in the jar, you're going to cover the jar with a lid and refrigerate. And you can eat this mango sauce whenever you want it. So there you have it, your mango sauce dessert. Enjoy!